uh, we are very, very pleased that we have some partnerships. And uh, the first group that came on board to support us, especially with our workshops, happens to be the Durham, North Carolina chapter of the Lynx Incorporated. We also have a partnership with PNC Foundation, the NCCU Student Services, NCCU Career Services, and NCCU Athletic Department. So we are just so pleased that all of those partners have provided support to us over the last three years. And we look forward to them staying in partnership with us and helping us as we have more and more young ladies go through the program. I will give you one little caveat. We've had male students approach Mrs. Akalea <laughs> regarding starting a male mentorship program. So we are already in the uh, mode of entertaining that and um, creating that um, possibility for our young men as well on campus. Well, that sounds wonderful. And uh, we would love to uh, be one of your partners. Uh, we can, uh, you know, I would love to be involved and um, help introduce the young ladies. And if you have the young men, um, uh, in undergraduate to introduce them to graduate programs and how uh, get prepared uh, to enter a master's degree. Uh, we actually have some accelerated programs where our juniors and seniors can start taking graduate courses and be able to finish a bachelor plus a master's degree in five years. So uh, there are a lot of things that uh, you know we can we can help them um, do and get introduced to the graduate program. We could have our graduate students uh, be, be mentors. Uh, and if we can, and I know there are some graduate students that need and can really uh, use the programs that you're offering and be mentored by some of the wonderful mentors that you have. So if we can uh, start a partnership like that, it would just be wonderful. We will add you to our list. And it, along those same lines, I will uh, sometime this year invite you to talk with some of our students uh, so that Good they luck. know that this is a possibility for them to slide right into the graduate program um, because I had that opportunity. Uh, I actually finished my undergraduate degree early mm -hmm. um, via a state scholarship of, from North Carolina and started my master's program on my last year of my scholarship. So uh, I was able to complete my undergraduate and my first master's in five years in the, and the summer. So that, that well, really you are a great yes. role model. And uh, we, can, we can talk about that and I can talk about the opportunities that exist for them and the financial help that we provide through assistantship. So, <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think that would be a great, uh, great partnership. I can't wait to, to work with you. Uh, so uh, while we were talking before, I, and I wanted to also thank you for the information that you sent to me about an opportunity for our graduate students. It's called Presidential Management Fellowship Program. So I would appreciate it if you, I know you have uh, studied that a little bit. So if you could uh, say a few words about that program. Absolutely. And I'd first like to give kudos to one of our alumna that sent the information to me. Um, Mrs. Uh, Jackie Beatty Smith uh, is involved with the federal government in Washington, D.C. and forwarded the information to me and Mrs. Akalea since we are involved with the mentoring program. And um, the, when we first started looking at the material, it was geared for um, the first part of the program was geared for students who were in college. And that was how we became involved with learning about what they offer from the federal government for our students. And so I attended the seminar that talked, us a bit, talked about the program for undergraduate students where they can be involved with workshops and seminars right now as undergraduate students. But as they moved from that particular program, they talked about the Presidential Management Fellows Program. Mm -hmm. That is specifically for graduate students. And um, 
I was amazed about the, uh, by the program and its focus and how it started because it's been in, um, in place for over 40 years, started under President Jimmy Carter in the 70s. And um, the program is a way of, or a pipeline for future leaders in the federal government. They are looking for employees. And so one way of doing that is to have the Spellers program. Every year, there are four to 5,000 applicants for the program, and they choose 350 to 400 candidates to be a part of the Fellows Program. Now, it is a rigorous uh, application process, but eagles fly high, as we soar, so Absolutely. we can get through that process. Yes. However, part of the Fellows Program, which is a two-year fellowship, they provide training, development, while you are fully salaried as an employee That's with right the benefits the of an employee. This is their way of get, having a succession plan for federal agencies. So during the time that one is involved in the fellows program, they have an opportunity to rotate to different agencies to do um, uh, work with different parts of the government and as a graduate student applying, you, you, it doesn't matter your career. You could be in the health field, the science field, um, technology, education, uh, sports, any career that you go into. Uh, it, it could be uh, cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. And uh, because during the development process, you may be moved from one area to the other. After your two years in the program near the end, then you are presented the opportunity to apply for a full-time position. And 70 to 80% of the candidates are placed in a job. Well, and right up when you start out as a fellow, you start out with a pretty decent salary of about $60,000 with all the benefits. And they, they, the government has a graded system. And so by the time you complete the program, you could easily be making $90,000. So it's a career that you could support a family with uh, career-wise uh, with the salary and with the benefits that will be provided for you. The um, opportunity for this program is a short window of time. So to apply for the program, uh, the application process starts in September. They announce these recipients in December. Mm -hmm. So if a student is in grad school right now and they have completed a year and they plan to graduate in May of 21 or June of 21, so they are ready to go to work in the fall, they can apply right now for that uh, fellowship. Uh, and that application process will start in uh, September. And there is a training session for the graduate students to go through in order to prepare them for the process of application. And um, if you have a student who's been out of school for two years, they qualify as well. But past two years, they are not interested. They are looking for just coming out all the way up to two years, having been out of their graduate program. And only graduate students are provided the opportunity for the PMF program. Well, that's wonderful. We did forward the information that you send us to the graduate students. And I'm hoping by watching this, uh, they get more excited about it. And we will have a lot of applications going uh, from NCCU uh, to, Great. The, to this program. And, and just to let you know, when I um, um, did the training a few weeks ago, there were schools represented from every state in the country. I can imagine. Universities outside of the country, uh, Paris, London, Puerto Rico, there were representatives on the call. And what was interesting, once you log in, you could see every person's name and what school they were um, uh, representing. Well, thank you so much, Mrs. Holloway. Uh, this has been wonderful, very informative. And uh, we are in a great start to our um, program.